so typically in the morning, I actually tend to wake up before any alarms that I set, um, which is kind of frustrating. I think it's an insomniac thing or a nervous thing, but I always kind of try and get back to sleep. I toss and turn, but eventually I give up and I switch off the alarm before it even has a chance to go off. Since I am a 21st century girl, like most people, I sit up in bed and I check my phone and I just go on social media, just see what everyone's up to, give everyone a little stalk. So typically I'll first head over to Instagram, have a little scroll through, give a load of hair pictures a like, look at those beautiful coils, so I'll just like a bunch of different photos from people. I believe that's Sarah Anderson, that is like my favourite comic, and Freddie Harrell, how gorgeous is she? And then I head over to Snapchat, just check out a few stories. I admit I'm a sucker for Kai Lizzle, my nizzle. She is really interesting on Snapchat. And I check out all of your stories as well. So do follow me on there if you aren't already. Then I head over to Twitter and see what's happening. This is more like for all the news and the gossip and anything like that. That's what I love Twitter for. Plus, I love to use it as a bit of a venting tool. So definitely follow me on Twitter if you want to see any kind of political chats or just hear what's on my mind because I love checking that out and seeing all the celebs and everything like that. Eventually, it's time to stop searching and scrolling and time to get out of bed. It's summer at the moment, so it's quite warm in my flat and my window is open when I sleep, but I just like to open it a little bit wider to let that fresh air in. And then I will check on my little plant, check that it's not drying out or anything. And then I'll make up my bed. I won't do it like super smart or anything, but I think it's a good thing to make up your bed because it's nice to get into a fresh bed at night. So I just pop my pillows on my bed there. Then I head to the bathroom to shower and make myself presentable. So I take off my sleep cap so you can see what I'm actually doing with my hair today. It's just a braid out. And then I switch on the shower to get the water nice and warm. So if you've seen my body care routine, you'll know I'm working my way through Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap, the green tea one. I'll leave that down below. And once I'm done showering, I of course brush my teeth. And that's like the first step to my oral hygiene, which I find really important because your mouth is kind of like the first step of like protecting yourself against stuff. So then I move on to oil pulling and I use the Ocean White brand. I think it's absolutely amazing. And I thought I'd talk through a bit of the benefits of oil pulling. So I use the spearmint flavor from Ocean White, but there are tons of different flavors to choose from. And it's essentially flavored coconut oil and it's an ancient Ayurvedic technique where you take a bit of oil and you swoosh it around your mouth, try and pull it through the teeth to help detoxify. So you do this between five to 15 minutes. So I like to take my hair down whilst I'm doing this so it kills time. But you certainly don't even have to do it straight after brushing your teeth. You can use it throughout the day to help freshen your breath, but it's a really great natural teeth whitener and natural detoxifier. Oil pulling is a natural cleanser and it keeps the gums healthy. It's really great at preventing gingivitis, which is linked to heart disease. It's also really, really great for keeping your skin clear and helping detoxify issues there, improving the lymphatic systems, which is great if like me, you suffered from tonsil stones as a kid, absolutely gross. And it's said to help soothe sinus and allergy issues amongst a whole host of other things. I 
also like to make sure that I clean my tongue. So I have a plastic tongue cleaner, but I also have the copper one. And the copper one is supposed to be a lot better because it's a natural antibacterial metal. So I just use that in the kind of final steps of making sure my oral hygiene is all well and good. Then I will go from the bathroom to the kitchen to make myself some breakfast. And I'm a serious plain Jane when it comes to breakfast. I just have like Otabix or porridge. But because I'm quite a homebody, I don't like to sit at the dining table on my own. So I will just come back to my bed and eat it on my bed, which is a bit naughty, but it's a bit of a habit I've got myself into. If no one else is around, I'll just sit in my bed and have breakfast in bed. Trying to figure out what clothes to wear for the day is like the bane of my life. I hate doing it really. But thankfully because today is just a chill day, an errands day, I'm just going to find some comfy lounge wear clothes. And I'm just going to grab this grey loungewear set that I got from Zara. Quite looks like pyjamas but it's kind of a mix between pyjama and tracksuit bottoms so I think that works just fine and then I'll throw on my Nike sliders as well. So if it's an errands day and I just am getting a few bits and bobs, maybe I'm getting my nails done or something like that, I'll just grab my backpack, throw in my purse, my keys, and not to forget my phone as well. Um, those are the, just the basics that I take with me. And then that's it. I was quite lucky because it's such a nice warm day today, so I didn't need a jacket or anything like that at all. Just flung on my backpack and I'm off. That is my regular kind of lazy morning weekend routine. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.